What's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here, man. What's one thing that I say a lot on this channel, guys? What's like, what's like the one word that I say a lot during my rebuilds and really any video that I do, man? Bitch ass contract! Yes, guys, Bleacher Report has released an article of the five worst NBA bitch ass contracts at every position, man. And I really gotta check this out, my friend. It's been a while since I've done an article video, guys. If you can do me a quick favor, my friend, hit a like on this video to help support the channel. Also, guys, pinned comment to this video is a link to my second YouTube channel. That channel is growing very fast, guys. At 20k subscribers, I'm doing an NBA 2K18 giveaway. Don't miss on that, my friends. Here we go, guys. Five worst NBA contracts at every position, man. This shit's gonna give me a damn heart attack, man. Like, really. And uh, what we got first? What we got first? Oh, five worst point guards. So, number one, uh, well, I guess number five technically here, man. Oh, he's got a video going. The hell's this? I'm trying to play video. I want to know a video, man. Um, but yeah, guys, we got Drew Holiday of the New Orleans Pelicans. I have no idea what his contract's looking like. Age 27, uh, average 15 points, four rebounds, seven assists. Ooh, $126 million. Oh my god, dude. I mean, those numbers low-key ain't that bad, but that's a big-ass contract, man. I gotta say this straight up. The reason I don't like bitch-ass contracts, guys, is that I did graduate with a bachelor's in finance. So, like, I'm all about, like, investments and stuff like that, man. And, like, some of the investments that these GMs give these players, like, that's a... F I don't know. That's all right. That's not the worst one. Uh-oh. Number four. Reggie Jackson, the Detroit Pistons, my favorite basketball team. Uh, he is uh, 27 years of age, average 14 points, 5 assists. Um, he got three years, $51 million. Okay, man, like, that, I don't think that's horrible. I mean, because he can still, like, last season, yeah, he, did, he had an off season. Um, but at the seat, like, his first season with the Pistons, it says right here, guys, eight or 19 points, six assists. Um, you know, $51 million in today's NBA, not the worst in the world, man. I wasn't a big fan of the contract at the time, but looking back, it could be worse. Uh, now we have uh, Tyler Johnson, point guard of the Miami. I could low key, man, I thought he was a shooting guard, but, you know, he probably plays point guard a lot of times, too. Uh, 14 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, uh, $44 million contract, age 25. Yeah, man, I mean, those are not really, those are not that bad stats. Like, the scoring, I didn't know he was that kind of score. Those are actually decent. Uh, I guess that's a lot of money, but, uh, he's only 25. Like, who knows, man? Maybe this season will be, like, a busted out season, and he'll start averaging, like, 20 points and 6 assists or something like that. So, man, I'm not saying that's a horrible contract. This one, I know I'm agreeing with, man, because when it first came out, it's when I first started to entail the term of bitch-ass contract, man. Matthew Della de Dover, guys. He got twenty, about $29 million remaining on his contract. Uh, it was originally, what, a $38 million deal? Yeah, dude, he was clamping up Curry on Cleveland, but shit, man. Hell, that's the bitch-ass contract. Now we have the uh, brand new of the Phoenix Suns. I'm so happy my Pistons did not get this guy uh, back, I should say. Three-year, $44 million deal, 11 points, two assists. And uh, guarantee you get dunked on by Blake Griffin or uh, DeAndre Jordan one time a season. Or across the by Kyrie Irving. All right, now we got uh, the worst five shooting guards. We got Evan Fournier. Don't Google that last name, guys. I always say it, man. People do it anyway. Don't Google his last name. Don't. You will regret it for the rest of your life. I'm just going to say that. Um, we got $68 million deal. It was originally $85 million at 17 points, three rebounds. Um, I don't know, man. It's like, see, the thing about the Magic is, like, the reason this is a bitch-ass contract is because, you know, who wouldn't want to play in Orlando? Like, in Orlando, like, in Florida, you know what I'm saying, man? So it's like, um, they probably would not have had any issues like trying to bring some, you know, bigger name free agents. So I think that's kind of the reason to tie up that much money in a guy like that. But yeah, he one of the, he, he was one of those guys who got one of those huge ass contracts. You know, it says right here like uh, Cam Bazemore and Alan Crabb, who were just like, uh, you know, it was, it was just the moment of time in the NBA where everybody was giving bad contracts out. Nicholas Batum of the Charlotte Hornets, he got a 90, $100 million contract pretty much. They threw him 120 million originally. God damn! You swindled that man away from uh, the Trailblazers. I would let him walk too for the. Uh, they're all trying to get that much for him. Damn, dude. Uh, Victor Oladipo of the Indiana Pacers. He got uh, 80, 85 million, 25 years of age. Um, this is one of those contracts that I think looks was was like looking bad, like on the Thunder and the Magic. But I feel like in Indiana, man, like him and Miles Turner, not a lot of pressure because we don't really expect them to do anything good anyway. So. Uh, who knows, man? Maybe it'll work out. But yes, that's a lot of money. That's a hell of a lot of money. Oh, okay. I'm probably not going to agree with this. DeMar DeRozan. Probably not going to agree with this. Uh, Four-year, $111 million contract. Man, you could arguably say he was the best shooting guard in the Eastern Conference last season. No, man. That's an L. That's an L for this article right here. That's not. That's fine. Uh, no, yeah, Tim Hardaway Jr., man. As much of a Michigan fan as I am, that contract the Knicks gave him after giving all that goddamn money to Joakim Noah and Courtney Lee and players like that. 
How are you going to come back and give this man $71 million, dude? I love Tim Hardaway as a Michigan fan. I don't love him as a $71 million bitch-ass player, guys. All right, uh, small forwards. Uh, Kent Bazemore, we already talked about him with, like, uh, I think it was, like, with, no, uh, Fournier and also Alan Crabb. So, yeah, he got a three or $54 million deal. Yeah, pretty basic role player numbers right there. Like, those are looking like six-man numbers off the bench, if you ask me. Uh, so, yeah, I agree with that. Alan Crabb, there he is, too. Another player, you know, role play, role six-man type of player. Uh, you know, all-star type of money is looking like, man. Not, like, not, maybe not, like, quite all-star, but definitely, like, in that realm. Evan, Evan Turner, yeah, guys, another one right here. Yo, Portland, what are you doing, man? No wonder Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, man, are having issues in the playoffs and shit. It's like, you can't, you're giving all the money to all these bad players. That's money that could be used elsewhere. Lou Aldang, yeah, man, the, the player that, uh, nobody really, I, I thought he'd been retired for like three or four years. It turns out he, uh, he lurking on the Lakers bench, man, really holding that team back. But at the end of the day, he is getting paid, so good for him at least. Good for him for being able to finesse the Lakers into that contract. Um, yeah, he got a lot of money. Him and Timothy Mozgov, who is probably on this list. Uh, we got small forward. Yeah, okay, uh, number one small forward is uh, Chandler Parsons. Now, the reason this is a bust right here is because Parsons was pretty damn good on the uh, Houston Rockets. Past few seasons had, like, injuries. I think I was on the, uh, yeah, Grizzlies and also the Mavericks, I believe. Yeah, man, just kind of an injury-prone player now. Got a lot of money, man, at the right time for him. Uh, power forwards, we have James Johns in the Miami Heat. He got a ooh, $60 million? Yo, is he still on the Heat? Did he resign with them? I did not know he resigned. Um, but yeah, man, that's a lot of money to give a guy that's, you know, the age of 30. I guess he had a great season, but probably his best season yet. But uh, yeah, man, that's what, $15 million a season? That is quite a quite a good chunk of change. But he also was a big important part of what they did last season, so good for him. Uh, we have uh, Marvin Williams of the Charlotte Hornets. You know, a basic bitch uh, stretch four out there. Um, yeah, 11, you know, 11.6 rebounds, $42.3 million, um, 31, it's only a three-year deal, though, so, eh, I'm not too salty about that, I mean, please believe me, I'm not training for him in a, in a rebuild, just keep that, all these guys I'm pretty much not training for, unless it's like a Serge Ibaka or a DeMar DeRozan, uh, Serge got, uh, three years, $65 million, okay, he's 28, so yeah, man, by the time that three years runs up, he will be out of his prime, um, I don't remember exactly how good he was for the Raptors last season. I mean, I know he was a big part of, like, we were, like, when they signed, we are like, all right, this is going to help us get past Cleveland. We all know that did not happen, but, uh, you know, he's, think about Serge, man, he's not a very good rebounder. Like, he was, he like, what, like, 6'10"? He needed to be a better rebounder. Um, next, we have uh, Harrison Barnes of the Dallas Mavericks. This is a player that they, that Mark Cuban, you know, Mark Cuban is a businessman, you know, high risk, high reward type of guy out there, man. He took a big risk on Harrison Barnes, hoping that that, uh, you know, historical season the Warriors had would translate over to, um, you know, Harrison Barnes and his basketball mentality. So, you know, of course they got bitch ass Durant and the Warriors. Um, so of course Harrison Barnes got himself a nice little con well, nice big contract, I should say. But yo, 25 had a solid 19 points, five rebounds on a team that didn't really have much. Um, who knows, man? I mean, yes, it's a lot of money, but him and Dennis Smith Jr. They might be able to do something for the Dallas Mavericks, guys. And number one is Ryan Anderson. Yes, guys. Ryan Anderson is a big reason why Carmelo Anthony is not being traded to the Houston Rockets yet at the making of this video. Uh, plain and simple, Rockets are looking for a team to take on this contract. And nobody wants to take on a guy that's, you know, he has some injury issues. Uh, $61 million contract. Uh, you know, bring some perimeter shooting, but that's about it. You look at the rest of the stats here, man. Not much else. All right, now we have the center, guys. Ian Mahimi of the Washington Wizards. I got, is he probably got, he's probably got like second or third string, isn't he? Probably the second string center of the team. $48 million. Yeah, really basic bitch center um, stats here, guys. Really, 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 man. Not definitely not worth forty-eight million. I definitely agree with that. Uh, we got uh, Bismack Biombo with your own little Orlando Magic. The reason this guy paid got paid so much money was because of one damn good playoff series on the Toronto Raptors. Then the uh, Magic threw got a huge ass contract, and of course he didn't uh, really match up to uh, the money that he was being made. There he is, man, Timothy Mozgov. Timothy Mozgov, the whole reason that the Nets got Mozgov was because it's like the Lakers are saying, all right, we'll give you D-Lo, but man, we got two bitch-ass contracts of Timothy Mozgov and Lou Dink. You got to take one of them, my friends. You got to take one of them. Um, he's 31. His stats, eh, nothing special. Definitely, uh, originally, it was a $64 million deal. That was the real big first, con like, like the real large contract of last season. That was like, yo, what's going on with these teams? What, what are people doing? Like, y'all crazy. Um, Amir Ashik, man, like, yeah, he has not really been good since Chicago Bulls. Um, he was, like, really, the reason the Pelicans got this guy in the first place was to be, like, the player that they were going to put next to Anthony Davis at the center position. And uh, he had injury issues and just really since the Bull days. Uh, I mean, the numbers don't lie, guys. Check it out. That's not great. That's not good at all, man. 
Um, the number one bitch ass contract for centers, guys, is Joakim Noah of the New York Knicks. This is definitely a big L by Phil Jackson right here. Um, not that Noah is a bad player. He's just like a really injury prone player now. Um, on the Bulls, I loved him, guys. He was a very high energy guy out there, but now he's just not really the same player anymore. I don't know if I'll ever get back to that form again. He's 32. Um, but yeah, guys, this will list some of the worst contracts in the NBA, man. Let me know in like, the comment section below. What's like the worst contract on your NBA team? Like, what's like a contract you're like, yo, man, how the hell did this guy get this kind of money? Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop that like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.